Hello everybody, uh, I wanted to make a quick video regarding um, the annotated bibliography. I had a couple of questions come in, so I wanted to just make this uh, real quick and sweet to clarify a bit, sort of what is the point of that assignment. Um, for the annotated bibliography, I don't expect it to be super long or anything. Um, it basically is just like a traditional bibliography with the citation information of your source um, and then below that citation information for each individual source, I want you to tell me something about the source. Um, one, what is the source about? Just, you know, a sentence or two perhaps on what the source is. Kind of assume that your reader doesn't know what the source is about. Uh, the second part is how, is how does it fit your argument? How does it support your argument? Where do you see it kind of fitting in your paper? Um, so for each source, you have the citation, then you have kind of a summary of the source, and then what it's about, how it fits into your paper. Um, the point of this is that these papers are not just about your opinion, they're based on sources. Your argument comes from somewhere. So if anything, these sources help you arrive at your position, help you bolster your position, maybe even change your position. Um, so I want you to uh, be thinking about the sources and writing and speaking through the sources. Um, so that's kind of the point of the annotated bibliography. Um, I don't expect a super long, you know, treatment or anything like that. You don't even have to have read, you know, multiple books, like all the way through or anything like that um, to be able to summarize the source and to kind of pinpoint how it fits uh, into your argument. Um, I did include some, you know, links and websites and samples and things as well on that Dropbox page, but um, just wanted to kind of record that for you. All right. Thanks. Bye.